Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you a sneak peek of my uh, somewhat extinct Max Explorer and um, I'm taking out the V number thing, I'm just gonna start using some versions and shit um, and how to put autocomplete in your URL bar um, it's actually definitely not as hard as you think um, most people can do it in just a few seconds. You just gotta know what hidden properties to set. And it does take it off of what you've previously entered in Internet Explorer and what you do enter in it. Um, at least what you navigate to in the web browser. Um, first for the tutorial part. Also, um, um, this is, the source is gonna be completely released when it's over. But, um, yeah, so it, it's divided into things. What I call a Chrome bar, which um, has been decompiled several times um, since I first made it because of how many times I formatted my computer. Um, anyways, this is all that's left of it, but it does work. Um, even though it's not really that readable, like a bunch of tags and shit. Um, then it goes in the Mac browser, it's, uh, basic browser components. Um, all this will be available for source, and Max Explorer, of course, will be available for source. Um, to do the, uh, um, autocomplete, I have to actually go into the Chrome bar. Um, um, I'll give you a quick, um, saying here and then I'll show you in a new project um, what you do is you have a test text box and then there's something called autocomplete mode and autocomplete source there's a lot of other stuff you can do that if you play around with it um, suggest is if you do just suggest which I'm not gonna do is for there's a drop down list and you get to click it or use the arrow keys and whatever hit enter and whatnot. Then there's a pen which uh, selects the rest of it and um, selects the rest of the select of the um, word that they think you're typing. And um, um, and all URLs, all the URLs and stuff on the computer, um, like history, favorites, and all that shit. Um, there's other ways to do it. Like you can do custom list and have your own list. Um, I'm just choosing this for simplicity. I may change it in the future. Um, as for the sneak peek on the web browser, it's got bookmarks, no favorites, no drop down thing. Um, uh, well, I still have yet to do styling. I plan on doing a complete remake of the styling. Um, right now I'm really just making the coding. I'm not really focusing on how it looks yet. Um, it's currently on record of release 10.1b and soon to go up to 1.2, 10.2 or whatever. Um, bookmarks tools is uh, now like more categorized. Calculator, notepad, chat, misc, URLs and page has been revised. New method found online. Um, JavaScript and view source. Um, by the way, I discovered the autocomplete thing while creating the view source. It's not popping up. Hold on. Gotta do fixing. Just give me a moment. Sorry about that. Just had to add some anti disposing shit and whatnot. Um,. Well, um, oh, yes, sorry about that, um, it creates a new object at the beginning of the program, and, uh, it doesn't, dis it's not supposed to dispose it until the main form is closed, and I guess when you close it, it gets disposed, and I had to stop that, um, I do that for ease of editing what's in here, um, when I was creating this, um, well, I was like, um, I was like, I scrolled up in the properties to like, 
I, I was getting a headache, forgot what I was doing, and I noticed that it said autocomplete, and I, I realized, um, I didn't know this text box autocomplete. Um, if you already knew this, I didn't know that people already knew this, and, uh, well, I thought it'd be useful. Um, it has a trust list, and it has an ad blocker. Um, you can report list, report bad URLs, and, uh, this ain't working. I'm planning just removing it. I got it off thing on Code Project, studied it for a while, and tried it. It's not working for me. Um, let's see. Oh, um, in settings, it's been revised. Um, now you set your home page, new tab function, and new tab URL. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Um, in proxy, it's, um, also been revised, and, uh, I still think I'm gonna take out that image. I don't know why I put it there in the first place. I paused on this project for, like, months, because I got, it's like, I got tired of it. Um... You see the, um, well, you see the icon of the page on the tab you're on, and, um, oh, uh, yeah, it's, it changes after a few seconds, um, also that, I don't understand how to change that icon, um, that's just about it, so, Leave in the comments what you did with the autocomplete functions and what you've played with it. And also tell me what you think of current version of Max Explorer. Um, remember, I'm not planning on releasing it till at least 10.5. Um, yes. Bye guys. Make another video in a few months.